Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and as you know, the past few videos have been about building a computer, but now we are actually getting to the scary one, and that is to, to actually install a computer processor. Process that for a moment. This is not as hard as you actually might think it is, but it is something you got to make sure you do right. Because if you put a processor in the motherboard wrong and then try to tighten it down and bend the pins, you're never going to get your money back. So just make sure you do it right the first time. It only fits in there one way if you understand how it's supposed to fit. Now this particular processor we're installing today is an Intel Core i5. And all the Core i-series processors should install like this. And the socket type is LGA1155. The socket's universal for all LGA1155 motherboards. And I'm going to speak in theory. So it might apply to all processors. Just take a look at yours and make sure that it follows the same suit. Because all processors have one of these little fail safes in them. It's usually notched or has a little arrow that points in a direction where it's supposed to install another board, motherboard. Another board. Hopefully my cameraman won't laugh at me too much on this video. And every time I pull out a processor, I always think of Terminator 2. That never gets old. Good times. Okay, anyways, what we have here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. My HD camera isn't really that HD. Let me look at my little camera here. See that little notch right there? There's another one on the other side. There's two little notches. Those notches line up with the socket in your motherboard. Now, if I can get my cameraman to come over here and take a look at this, hopefully it won't be too cumbersome for him because I kind of called him off guard. Here is the actual motherboard slot. And what you do is you have this little connector here. You'll pull that out, pull that off to the side, then lift it up. And that whole chassis area comes out. Now, if you look here, you, prob you probably can vaguely see it, but it's there. There's a notch there, and there's a notch there, and you have to line up. You don't have to push it down or anything. Just drop it right in there. You line up your processor notches with those notches. See, it only goes up in one way. Then flip that chassis down. Bring the arm down. Now you're going to have to apply some pressure here. It may scare you a little bit, but that's okay. It needs to hold it firmly onto the connectors and you've successfully installed your processor. That's all there is to it. Now, I'm not going to go over installing the fan on this video because the fan is a whole different beast, and it depends on the fan that you're going to be using. In the next video, when I actually talk about installing the processor fan, uh, it should apply to all processor fans you might buy, buy, but make sure you actually read the manual on your fan. But we're going to be doing the stock fan because that's what the majority of you will use. And that's all there is to this video. As always, if you liked it, make sure you thumb it up and make sure you share it if you think of anybody else might be interested in it. Also, you can do plus one on Google Plus. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I'm on all them exhausting social networks. And uh, stay tuned. There's plenty more videos to come.